Good afternoon. I'm Ira Leventhal from Advantest, and I'd like to welcome all of you to Advantest's presentation on solving semiconductor test challenges in the 5G exascale era. I'm used to seeing all of you in person this time of year, and I look forward to getting back to that next year. On the plus side, we've been able to take all the money we've saved on travel and de develop some really great technologies that I will be describing today. So let's get going with that. Let's start by looking at where we are today. As we move from LTE to 5G, we hear a lot of buzz about millimeter wave, but much of the current focus is still in the familiar sub-6 gigahertz region. Driven by applications such as mainstream LTE, GPS, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth, the initial 5G deployments are also mainly sub-6 gigahertz. But that's changing, and it's changing fast, pun intended. Frequencies are going to 100 gigahertz, with 28 gigahertz and 39 gigahertz as key millimeter wave frequencies for cellular providers. Unlicensed frequencies are also seeing some prominence, and a large number of non-automotive applications are moving into the millimeter wave space. This move into the 5G era brings with it some very big testing challenges, driven by a variety of factors, starting with complexity. The RF devices are becoming significantly more complex, higher port counts, higher frequencies, more functionality in terms of IOs, support of multiband, more complex calibration, and going to more complex packaging such as 2.5D and 3D. Traditional OTA test environments are not suited to high volume production since far field and near field constraints typically drove the test cell configurations. So that's something we're going to need to uh, work through in terms of how to test these devices going forward. The combination of 5G plus Internet of Things brings with it low volume and high mix devices and lower ASPs, but still the expectation that we provide equal to or better quality and reliability, especially in mission critical applications. And lastly, the combination of high performance and low power drives us to new process nodes where we have the challenge of limited historical data as well as new failure modes that are coming into play. We're moving into what we call the age of convergence, where innovative technologies including mobile, edge computing, and high-performance computing data centers combine to provide increasingly powerful user experiences, and the boundaries between classical industries and applications are increasingly eroded. Remember when Google was just a search engine and Amazon was just a bookstore? Actually, many of you who are just joining this industry out of college probably don't remember that at this point. This convergence has, convergence has become part of our everyday lives, especially during this global pandemic, where we rely on remote communications technologies like never before. And as much as we complain about them when they don't work properly, it's really quite, a, quite amazing what we can do with them when they are working, which let's be honest, is most of the time. To power this age of convergence, we simultaneously have the age of exascale computing, where advances in compute architectures, mobile, and graphics capabilities combine to provide the massive computing power required for this convergence, but also bring many of the same testing challenges driven by the move to the 5G era. We like to call exascale really, really, really big data. In fact, in the last two years, we've generated more data than in all of previous human history. So who knows how many bytes an exabyte is? You pass if you guess that it's a one followed by 18 zeros, or one quintillion bytes. And you get extra credit if you know that if you throw another three zeros on there, you get a zettabyte. So you better learn this stuff quickly, because we are already dealing with it on a daily basis. In fact, it's estimated that we are generating 44 exabytes of data per day. At that rate, you could circle the Earth in a week with DVDs filled with the data that's being generated. Let's take a look at the relationship between data and test as we move into this 5G exascale era. We see things changing big time with data going from being a result to being the driver of the test process. In the past, we tested to collect data. This left us with lots of data without context. Data silos that uh, contain data that had incompatible formats where the data was hard to get to, and we lack the analysis tools to make the, uh, the full, uh, take the full advantage of the data and make all the inferences we could from it. 
Going forward, we see that changing where the data that we collect plus an array of advanced tools drives how we test. This truly provides the ability to uh, do correlations across the full flow from design all the way through to system level test. The data is uh, placed in lakes using common standards and that data is easy to get to. And uh, this combination enables us to do the full optimization of the, the semiconductor manufacturing and test flow. So with all this data, we've looked at how can artificial intelligence and machine learning helps through, help sort through this, the massive amounts of data that are being collected. We hear a lot about AI and ML, especially in the last five to 10 years. But artificial intelligence and machine learning are 70-year-old concepts developed back in 1950 by Alan Turing. For most of that time since then, the, these technologies have been relocated to niche applications because basically the technology just had not caught up with the theory. But that's changed a lot in the past five to 10 years. So let's take a look at what's happened. One thing is we needed lots of data. Things like uh, uh, Internet of Things type sensors and other technologies have provided us the ability to collect lots of data very quickly and very cost effectively. Cloud computing and big data technologies have answered the need for access to this incredible amount of data that we are collecting. And then as those of you in our industry know, we've made tremendous advances in computational power in the last decade, and this enables us to crunch lots of data very fast. The combination of those three has enabled us to get through the, uh, the final hurdle, and that is that we needed much better algorithms and better knowledge of how to apply the algorithms to solve problems. With the ability to collect lots of data, to access that data, and to crunch the data very fast, it provided us the sandbox we needed to try out all kinds of different algorithms and all kinds of different problems, and this has led to rapid advancements in algorithm design. Since AI and machine learning are very flexible, many people jump to the conclusion that they can solve any problem. That might be true if we had infinite data, storage, and computing power, but we're not there just yet. So it till, still takes making some intelligent decisions and knowing how to apply the technologies to solve the problems in the correct way. We see the solution as a combination of, the, first of all, you need test equipment designed to efficiently collect, efficiently collect the right data, so you have the data that you need when you need it. Next, you need a comprehensive infrastructure for data management and analysis. Once you have that in place, now you can build your toolbox of smart and efficient machine learning algorithms. But this is where you also need to understand the strengths and weaknesses of each of the tools in your toolbox and then intelligently apply those tools to solve problems in the appropriate problem spaces. Lastly, you need to intelligently interpret the results that you get from applying those algorithms. So luckily for us, machines haven't completely replaced people just yet. To meet the test equipment challenges, Advanced's new Exascale Generation provides innovative advancements on the proven V93000 architecture. The new Pinscale 5000 digital card is designed to address the explosion of scan data volumes, which are inherent in large digital designs, and sets a new standard for scan tests with 5 gigabit per second speed. Very high current requirements up to several thousand amps at supply voltages below 1 volt make power delivery capabilities a differentiating factor. The XPS 256 power supply is another industry innovation, covering all power requirements with a single DPS card. Advantest patented Extreme Link technology is designed specifically to meet ATE requirements, providing high-speed data connections, embedded computing power, and instant card-to-card -card communications. Scalable solutions extend across test heads of different sizes, and load board compatibility enables smooth transitions of existing applications onto the exascale generation. To meet the data management and analysis challenges, Advantest introduced Advantest Cloud Solutions, powered by PDF Accensio, this past July. Building on the proven and industry-leading Accensio data management and analysis platform, Advantest Cloud provides seamless and deep integration of technologies from Advantest and PDF solutions, 
and is optimized for highly efficient data collection from Adventus test systems as well as third-party equipment. We see Adventus Cloud as the center of the semiconductor value chain, seamlessly and efficiently combining data from FAB, metrology, parametric test, post-silicon validation, wafer sort, package test, and system level test. With the right test hardware and data management and analysis infrastructure in place, we can now ask a bunch of what-ifs about the machine, machine learning application scenarios shown here, as well as many more. First, what if you could combine test results from your current DUT in a machine learning model with data from previous devices and previous insertions to predict failures in downstream insertions? We call this wafer sort predictor, and this capability can save significant dollars spent testing devices that are going to fail anyway. In addition, identifying failing devices sooner and correlating data across multiple insertions are powerful tools for increasing yield and quality, which will likely provide even greater financial benefits. The financial projections shown here and on subsequent slides are examples based on customer scenarios and are included to give an idea of the value these approaches can provide. Next, what if you could use machine learning models to turn adaptive tests from a test time reduction tool to a true test flow optimization tool, where you can smartly use your available test budget to do more testing on the suspected problem devices and less testing on devices that the models predict will have no issues. In this scenario, powerful edge compute resources enable on-the-fly decision making to collect the appropriate level of data, balancing yield across insertions and ultimately improving end-to-end -end yield. In this third example, what if machine learning models can use the combined data from multiple insertions and devices to enable additional value tier bins, salvaging what would have been failing devices and leading to improved yield and profit? This soft binning approach is just one example of the concept of virtual insertions, effectively providing more test results without having to do any more actual testing. And for the last example, at least for today, what if you could use machine learning models combined with smart agents to turn root cause analysis from a tedious and manual needle in a haystack type task to an automated and predominantly background task where exabytes of test results are constantly being analyzed for anomalies and hidden relationships, engineers are notified whenever something of interest is discovered, and on-the-fly decisions are made to collect more data in these areas of interest. We call this root cause analysis boost with the potential to literally shave months of time off of time to root cause, once again significantly increasing yield and profit. As I mentioned, these scenarios are just the tip of the iceberg of what can be achieved and how millions of dollars of customer value can be created almost immediately through the combination of the right test equipment, data management and analysis infrastructure, and innovative machine learning algorithms to smartly solve the testing challenges of the 5G exascale era. The capabilities that I've described today are the next very important step in the realization of Adventus Grand Design Vision, introduced in 2018. We are committed to achieving this vision of bringing together data from across the semiconductor value chain in innovative and efficient ways, providing continually increased customer value. And with that, I'd like to thank you for attending this virtual presentation. Please stop by our virtual ITC exhibition booth to find out more from our experts about these and other topics, or contact mktgcoms at advantest.com for more information. I'll also be online for a short question and answer session following this talk, and I'm looking forward to seeing all of you in person next year.